We're walking through an area right now where we spent quite a bit of time the last two years. And recent activity has been beaver in this area. That's probably been going on three years right now. The beaver has been active in this area. It looks like they're going after hackberries primarily. And uh, they're doing a real good job thinning them out. Uh, a lot of other native stuff underneath. And right now you've got some ditch lilies. And uh, this is what we're really looking at is the honeysuckle that was in here. In the past, there was a ton of buckthorn and large honeysuckle in here. We did thin them out. We spent quite a bit of time. And as you can see, if there's going to be honeysuckle in this area, you're going to see it now. And a little bit of green over there. Very small, maybe waist high. Another one in the back there. So there's three right here. And they're small. Most of them we may have cut down and not completely killed the rest of them don't seem like they're popping up and another little one there so one person could come in here and really knock these out very quickly that's the main thing it looks like we have there's also a spindle euonymus a lot of the euonymus species are very very invasive and uh just to add that to the woody list and yeah along the edges along these edges of these places there's always the density that was usually the last thing that we got uh, completed because you work in the backside in and then you hit these walls and you can kind of thin them out and then work from both sides. It's, that's where all the work is typically, is along the edges where they get a lot of uh, sun and water. But other than that, now we start going in here and don't really see much in here as far as honeysuckle or anything that we'd have to get now. There are some um, herbaceous things that we dealt with a little bit last year, but we'll have to do again this year. Now, one in particular, uh, Dame's Rocket right there. Once that goes along this line, you'll be able to get it pretty quickly. Now, let's see if there's a few in here. But there's other native uh, structure in here. It's relatively biodiverse, and uh, it's relatively speaking in this area. Again, more honeysuckle. So, right now is the time that we're going to shift from cutting down buckthorn winter buckthorn where we're just cutting down larger ones that we knew were buckthorn and now shifting completely over to eliminating these honeysuckle populations in here and as i stated before there are not there's not a whole lot these are small they were monsters and they're 10 footers 10 by 10 that we cut down in here so to have it at this extent is huge progress it'd be the third year and we could eliminate at least the larger ones you know there may be some seedlings but anything that could possibly be a threat in the next three to five years we can eliminate by going through here in an hour with just a handful of people probably even less you know if you have three or four people we'll be able to cover this whole stretch and maybe more so that's where we're at right now it's the importance of following up and consistency over a long period of time if we let these grow there's going to be a problem in a number of years. There's also smaller buckthorn underneath that we'll have to deal with too. But you leave those, and in 10 years, you're going to have another problem. But right now, the native ecosystem has a chance to recover.